Are you confused between a resale house and a new property? Here's a comparative analysis of the two types to help you make a decision. If you're someone who prefers everything to be untouched and spotless, a new house is perfect for you. Here are the pros. In tandem with the go green attitude of today's buyers, most new properties feature an energy efficient structure. New properties score when it comes to the technological aspects in a house. The condition of resale properties may be good, but may not feature the latest technologies used these days. Also, new houses in comparison are more user friendly and space optimized. You don't usually have to worry about the quality of fixtures and fittings in case of a new property, while for resale ones, repairing them will lead to additional costs. Here are the cons. If you want to go for a new property that's still under construction, you may face delays in completion. And if you choose one that's ready to move into, you might not be able to customize the house to your requirements. Resale properties are usually bought due to the absence of new projects in popular areas. With the unavailability of land, most central localities and metros don't have enough space for a fully-fledged residential project. And when new projects come up in these areas, they're sold out almost immediately. A resale property can be a viable option in such cases. Let's go to the pros. The best thing about this property type is the timely possession. There's no waiting period, so you can move in immediately. With resale property, everything is out in the open. You get what you see and you can check the entire property for any flaws in construction like cracks and leakage. If you're lucky, you can steal a deal in case the investor who entered in the initial stage would like to exit the project. You can also avail tax benefits on the EMIs if you take immediate possession of the resale house. And we go to the cons. When it comes to the cost factor, if you want to redesign the house, you'll have to bear the extra renovation charges since there'll be existing fixtures and fittings that you'll have to remove. There will also be transfer charges levied by the developer, which are usually between 100 rupees and 500 rupees per square foot. The seller normally expects a down payment of 20 to 30% of the sale amount. Arranging for such a large amount at short notice might not be feasible for everybody. Some housing finance companies don't give loans on houses that are more than 50 years old. Even if available, the tenure for repayment may be shorter. New properties are worth more when resold than a property that has already been resold before. And there you have it. We have covered the basics of what you need to know about new and resale properties. All you have to do is analyze your requirements and finances and take a call.